In Guinea, military leader Mamadi Dumbuya has rejected the appointment of a mediator by regional bloc ECOWAS. At its extraordinary summit over the weekend, leaders of the Economic Community of West African States appointed Mohamed Ibn Chambas to be the special envoy to Guinea. This in efforts to resolve a crisis caused by a coup on September the 5th. In a letter to the regional bloc, Dumbuya says the appointment of a special envoy does not appear opportune or urgent and is likely to compromise the political transition in the West African country. Dumbuya says the establishment of a transitional body in Guinea is proceeding as planned. He says his government is available for dialogue and collaboration with ECOWAS. Well, for more on this, we're now joined by Achike Chude, who is an African affairs analyst based in Lagos. Uh, Achike, thank you for joining us. Why are we seeing uh, the continued rejection of ECOWAS envoys there? Uh, well, um, I think it is um, uh, obvious that uh, the, the psychology of uh, the coupists, the, their ideological uh, orientation or compass, their objectives uh, are at variance uh, with uh, those of uh, the ECOWAS. Uh, obviously, they, uh, there is no agreement on, um, on uh, the issue of uh, democratization, uh, no re serious agreement on uh, the transition. Uh, you know, committee. There is no um, agreement, mutual agreement on uh, on a timetable uh, for to return to civilian uh, uh, rule. And even if there was, um, in some of these countries, uh, it is very clear that uh, the military adventurers are not comfortable with it. They want to run their show. They are interested in power for the sake of power. Uh, and so, uh, ECOWAS is becoming. Um, uh, uh, an irritant uh, in, in the whole process. Uh, it, it, it's interfering with their own game plan. Uh, I, I think that is just what the whole thing is, is all about. Uh, that's why uh, they are, and they, of course, they have seen a weakening of uh, ECOWAS essentially, uh, that they can do these things and they get away with it. So uh, obviously, uh, the, the idea that ECOWAS has its objective uh, for, the demo, for democratization of uh, these countries are at variance with that of, uh, with those of uh, the military, uh, Pushes. That's why uh, they, are, they are beginning to, to see a rejection of uh, ECOWAS uh, envoys. And looking at the wider picture then, what are the implications of this rejection on dispute resolution efforts in the region? Well, the implications are, 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 are wide, wide uh, uh, ranging and, uh, and, and quite uh, serious. Uh, they, they because uh, the, the reality is that um, ECOWAS is no longer seen as um, uh, being uh, quite authoritative when it, it comes to, I mean, in terms of uh, the intervention uh, in these other countries. That uh, they are in a position to now dictate the pace to ECOWAS uh, means uh, it's, it's a weakening of uh, ECOWAS's uh, stand and credibility. And so what it means is not just that, uh, y y you know, it uh, uh, reduces the ability of ECOWAS uh, when it comes to conflict uh, resolution, but it also empowers uh, other people, other militaries in other parts of uh, West Africa to also do what others have done without uh, much uh, punishment coming, you know, their way. And uh, in the past, I have talked about what, you know, seeming incentivization of uh, uh, some of these uh, coupists. They, 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 they stage a coup, they remove uh, legally constituted uh, government in their countries, and then they are part of the uh, process uh, bringing uh, these same countries back at to, to uh, democracy. So it will seem as if uh, it, uh, instead of uh, them being punished for the actions they have done, it would seem as if that they are being incentivized by the agreement that ECOWAS has with them, and that has strengthened them. Achike, thank you very much for speaking to us on Africa Live. Achike Chude, African Affairs Analyst, joining us live from Lagos.